Hi! In this uh, second mini video, I will uh, give you information about the second question of the game. How does our planet work about uh, volcanoes? Here is Hélène Gaunac. So the second question of the game is, what is magma? A magma is a melt of liquid, solid, crystals, and gas. We can distinguish two kinds of magma. One is called a primary magma, and it forms at depth in the mantle, which now we know is solid and ductile, or eventually in the crust. Such primary magma are composed of liquid, solids, like crystals of uh, olivine formed at depth, a few kilometers uh, down, and gas, several gases. But the gas is dissolved. That means it, it's strongly, it is strongly associated with the liquid with the molecules of the liquid, or the compounds of the liquid. And what, what we can really see, observe, is the liquid and the crystals. When such a magma approach the surface of the Earth, where you have lower temperatures and pressures, this dissolved gas appear, appears as Bubbles, gas bubbles, small ones and bigger ones, or groups of bubbles. And it means that the gas dissociates from the liquid. So now you can observe liquid, gas bubbles, and crystals. You can note that we have the crystals formed at depths earlier, and new crystals that form near the surface, typically plagioclase, for example. This magma comes from depth. It comes from the mantle at a few hundreds of kilometers below the surface, or it can come, it can come, sorry, from the crust a few kilometers down at depth. The material typically coming from the mantle is the original material is solid and ductile. But because of the higher temperatures and pressures, it becomes less dense and it moves up to the surface slowly or not so slowly. At a few kilometers on the surface, the material melts because of the decrease of the temperature and pressure and it becomes it forms magmas. If the magma goes through the surface, you have lava. So magma and lava is the same, except that magma is under the surface and lava is up to form volcanoes or lava flows. What is important to realize is that magmas will not necessarily move to the surface and come out to form lava. It can also solidify at depth and forms a pluton or few plutons. Plutons have various shapes, dikes, elongated structures in the vertical, seals, horizontally structures, and so on, many more. Mount Royal in Montreal 
is an example of a Pluton that stopped on the ground. It solidified and later a thick, thick layer of sediments was deposit, deposited on top. With time, the sedimentary rocks were removed. We call this erosion. And now we are able to walk on the Pluton which appears at the surface. Here is another figure to show you the difference between a magma kept under the surface and a magma that was able to go through the surface. Here, in number one, is from a Pluton. In number six, the magma reaches surface as lava and is helping to form a new volcano. There are different types of magma. A magma will be more or less viscous depending on its content in silica, in volcanic gases, in crystals, and its temperature, what we call eruption temperature. Scientists have identified two categories of eruptions effusive ones and explosive ones. Effusive ones sorry, form when the magma is less rich in silica, less viscous, giving producing basaltic lava flows. The surface of the lava flows could be of different morphologies. Well-known morphologies are AA and Powerhoi. These are Hawaiian names today. If the magma is rich in silica, it is more viscous and it will produce more explosive eruptions. Lava flows are still possible, such as flows of obsidian, a black volcanic glass that doesn't move very far. Explosive Eruptions could also produce domes formed by very viscous flows. But such type of eruptions will produce to very commonly volcanic clouds and turbulent flows. Here is a figure explaining different morphologies of basaltic lava flows. The, the block of AA on the Powerhoi. Powerhoi flows advance with a smooth, continuous surface. AHA are blocks rolling on top of each other. Each other. We have photos now, all coming from Hawaii. This is Powerhoi morphology. AA morphology, you can see the difference. Both on the same slope and active ones. Here is one of the consequences of uh, what basaltic lava flows could do the end of a parking lot. So you can see that such lava flows represent a danger, but it is not a catastrophic one. Non-viscous magmas could, can also uh, produce volcanic bombs. Here are volcanic bombs of uh, different sizes. Large ones, with my sound on top of one, and very small ones. Their shapes are, are aerodynamical, are aerodynamic, and potentially you can observe a typical texture for some of them, which is called red crust. 
but with more viscous magma, the eruptions are explosive and can produce large blocks as this one that fall on the ground during the explosion. It can also produce lava domes, such as this one, very viscous grey flows. Here, in the last slide, is uh, shown the vesicular aspect of the texture when it's coming from a viscous magma, which in uh, gas. Here is a fragment called a pumice. It's typically white or light gray, and you can notice large bubbles and with a microscope, very small ones. And these bubbles were previously, before the eruption or during the eruption, they were full of gas which escaped. It's interesting also to know that pumice can float in water. Not so many rocks can float in water. So this is the end of the mini video. All the new ones explaining subjects or items about the game can be found on the blog. Have a nice day.